Hey there, Lisa Altman Baldwin here. And today I wanna to, uh, share with you some self-care strategies for CEOs. Now, as we've heard in the news a lot lately, there are a lot of layoffs, unfortunately, going on with a lot of big companies all over the world. And it's a very stressful time. And we often, our first thought is about the employees who have lost their jobs and now they're scrambling to find another one or ways to support themselves and their families. And, and that is definitely a concern. However, we kind of forget about supporting the CEOs, the president, the vice president, the other leaders of the company. They're people too. And it doesn't mean that, um, you know, a lot of times all the barbs about what's going on go your way, but nobody takes time to say, well, how can we support those people in their roles? I, I know it's stressful for you or you yourself um, have to make some tough choices in order to help the company and you feel bad about the people who've been left off. So I wanna provide you with some easy self-care strategies to give you the care and the attention that you deserve. The first one is to schedule some me time every day. Giving you a little bit of me time, even if it's just 10 or 15 minutes, makes a big difference and giving you a break from handling all the pressures of things, not just during layoffs, but other difficult times, or just in general as running a big company, being at the top of a big company. The second thing is to take regular breaks, and that's kind of going along with me time. Getting up from that computer, my goodness, even if you just get up and walk around your desk five times, or go down the hall and get a glass of water, or if you're working from home, you know, take the dog out for a walk or something. So regular breaks, again, even if they're short ones because you have a lot on your plate, really helps your mental health and wellness. The other thing is to get enough rest. As the head honcho, as they say, you are tasked with a myriad of things to do and putting in countless hours. But as much as you can, try to keep to a regular sleep schedule because that will help you keep your energy level up during the day and can help keep your stress levels down. The fourth strategy for you is to practice healthy eating habits. Now we all know in general, eating healthy is really great for our bodies, but there are studies that show that eating regular healthy meals really helps keep your stress levels low. And as a president, CEO, leader of your organization, you're under a lot of stress all the time. So you want to keep it as low as you can. And so that you're so much, not so much of a burden on you. And the fifth thing is to network with other company leaders, people who are your peers, who are going through the same types of things, whether it's how to lead the company or changes you have to make, or if there's a layoff or difficult situations, anything that's going on, these people do the same thing that you do. And so they are the perfect people to vent to, to get their ideas. What best practices are they doing? What things have they stopped doing that seem to have been helpful? Network with your other peers in this high level position that you're in can be invaluable, absolutely invaluable. So by implementing some of these self-care strategies, you'll be in a better position to handle challenges as they arise, and they will really help you in moving your company or organization to its next level of success.